Hi there. In this quick video, we will be taking a look at this PicTech Digital Lux Meter 5165 is the model. So, let's open the box. Inside of the box, product specifications. I'm thinking this is basically the test sheet or calibration sheet, whatever you want to call it. The manual, we'll be looking at this just a tad bit later and the unit itself. Ooh, and this actually has a cover on it. Wasn't expecting this to have a cover on it, but maybe uh, if it gets scratched or whatnot, it will not read out uh, properly anymore. So this is why it has a protection. Okay, that's interesting. And the battery itself. And uh, you know from my previous videos, because uh, Pictech has a lineup of similar tools. This is, for example, an anemometer. I will link uh, all of the tools in this lineup uh, in the description. They even have uh, a version where they come in a, a set, a tool set with uh, all of them right uh, next to each other. As you can see, this is different. Probably the display is different because it displays different things and obviously uh, internal electronics. Uh, both have uh, a light sensor, so when there's not enough light, uh, the light turns on. But yeah, let's get back to this one. You will already probably know that I like uh, the battery compartment because it's not that one that you plug the battery into. You just slide it in here even if it's a night volt and it has a pokai okay mechanism so you cannot put it the other way around. Which is perfect. So it's in. You could see this quite uh, quite stiff in here so it will not fall by itself and also we have a tripod mount so you can mount it uh, wherever you need to kind of a set and forget kind of a way which is perfect but let's get it off the tripod because we want to take a little bit better look at it let's see how do we open this? Maybe a manual read would have been uh, good, but I just think it has uh, clips and it might be a little bit stiff for the first time being opened up. Yep, that's what it is. Okay, this is actually quite cool. I was expecting it to be more uh, flat, but it seems that it has probably a wider angle of detection, which is actually quite good. Let's give this a bell. So this is the light intensity that we have in here. Maximum, minimum and hold. Hold, so it will not change the value. Let's get out of it. Maximum, minimum. <laughs> it's not the tool, it's the user. So, when you go to Mac, actually we are on hold, so this will not change, but if we go to Max, it will show you the Max value. Let's rotate it, it will increase. Then we will get back to lower light, but it stays on the Max value. If we go to Minimum, it shows us the Minimum value. Something like this. And it will remain on the minimum value, whatever we do. So, yeah, it doesn't work as I thought that you press and it will show that value. It locks onto it. So you press it before uh, taking the measurement. Okay, nice. And yes, this works. Um, depending, you can see when it doesn't have enough light, turns it, uh, itself on. Uh, from here we change the range. We are in 2000 uh, lux mode now, 20,000 and 200,000 lux. But it's uh, up to you to multiply what you see here by 100. 
and back to 20,000 to 2,000 and 20,000 you multiply what you see here by 10. So at this point I have uh, something of a light sensor uh, on the outside of the house for some automatic lights and I will check uh, in the app to see what value it gives me and then we will put this next to it and see what this reads. And this is the value that we are getting with that sensor. I will try to somehow record but it's quite hard because it's high up on uh, one of the windows of the house but I will do my best. Climbed up on the window, I think we can do this a bit better. So almost 7000, 7000 at this point. They are quite close to each other. 745, something like that. As you could see, we were right there with what the Xiaomi sensor was showing us, which is uh, Perfect, basically. I had no idea how precise that Xiaomi sensor is, but seems to be, uh, be fairly precise, and this also. So, that's great. Now, let's take a quick look in the manual. Feel free to pause at any time. I'm just going to go quickly through it. So, these are the measurement range, depending on what you set. On this measurement we have a resolution of 10 lux and this 100 lux, because you are just seeing the the first uh, numbers, three numbers basically from uh, this. And my camera is trying to shut down my phone. I don't know why I say camera, it's a phone. Anyway, below 10,000 uh, lux, plus minus 4%, and above it, plus minus 5%. And this is the color temperature that this has been calibrated for, which is, I think, about mostly daylight or something like that or isn't it it's actually incandescent i always thought that incandescent in, uh, is closed close to daylight but it might not be i will write on the video uh, okay power off 10 minutes when it doesn't have a battery it will show on the display okay 9 volt battery yep uh, operating temperature storage temperature size and weight if you want to see any more info, here it is, but I showed uh, all of them basically already. Operating instructions, yep, figured those out without uh, the manual. Oh, so if you long press the range, you see, sometimes manuals uh, do uh, teach us things. So let's try this again. If I just hold this. I don't think it will actually work. So maybe if I hold it and power it on while it's being hold, held, hold. Yep, that's the trick. We changed it. You can see it there. Okay, awesome. If we power it off and on. Yep, it stays in the last one. So let's press it. Power it on, back in lux mode, press it, power it on, yep, this is how we change it. Yes, this obviously shows us how to properly do that, but it's nicer to guess, isn't it? You feel that you accomplished something. So that's about it. Now we know how to use this tool. I'm quite curious to go into my workspace and see how much light I get in there? Let's see how much light I have in my main working area. So 130 lux, which is quite low. Turn on the light. 1200 lux. This is actually decent. Let's turn on an adjacent, adjacent light. Oh, Jesus, I will never pronounce that word. A light next to this one. 1300. Okay. And let's turn on the spotlight. Whoa. Okay. I think I have enough uh, light in this work area. That sounds good. Let's move around. 
we are next to the spotlight so we need to change the range 2700 and if I come higher obviously it's more this spotlight is quite strong out of the spotlight I think we can go down in range oh no we went up in range now we are down in range if I come higher over range but let's go to this side where there's another type of light yep this is less powerful than my main light okay that's cool let's turn everything uh, back down where's my switch and we remain with this so about 1200 how can I film it? I think like this. So uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. If you have any questions about this product, feel free to ask in the comments. Thank you very much PicTech for sending this in. Will be put to good use uh, during reviews, for example, and while testing stuff. So uh, yeah, thanks again and see you in the next video. Bye.